What's up? Trev's iPod Help here with a new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the new iPod, or not new, but new 4.0 firmware, but only for the iPod Touch 2G and the iPhone 3G. And to be doing this, I'm going to be using Red Snow, the new Red Snow. And to get it, you're going to have to go to the Dev Team blog. I'll have links in the description, so don't worry. Scroll down to the bottom here and you have it for Mac and Windows. So you can do it on both, whatever you're on. And it's really simple. So first, I want you to go to this link right here, felixbruns.d, and I want you to download your firmware, so whether it be iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G, and you just find it, pick it, and then click download. For me, I'm using the um, iPod 2G, and it is on the 4.0, and just to show you guys, I do have a jailbroken with me right now and as you can see I also have the wallpapers enabled and multitasking so there you go and this is really really sweet because as you may have known they disabled multitasking and wallpapers and the battery percentage for the um, iPod Touch 2G and the 3G but now you can get it now with this jailbreak so it's really simple what you may want to do if you haven't updated to 4.0 yet is update it. Don't put any of your music on or any of your apps yet. You could, but just in case a jailbreak goes wrong, it's just easier not to have them on. So what I'm going to ask you to do is restore it right now. And then you're going to want to have the Red Snow downloaded. And we're going to go ahead and open that up. Now it's going to ask you to browse for your firmware. Pretty much all you do is click browse and find it. So mine's on my desktop. Then it'll process the firmware. And this also doesn't work with the MC models. So if you don't know what that is, if you go into settings about your serial number, we'll start with MC, which means you can jailbreak. So if you have an MC model, you can jailbreak. But mine's not, so it's fine. Click next. It'll download some of the files it needs from the internet. That's what makes this application so lightweight. And this is the cool part. All right, so you have a couple options here. If this is your first time jailbreaking or like you're on 4.0 firmware so it's totally clean, you're going to click install Cydia. But if it's already jailbroken like on the 4.0, I don't need to do that so I can just leave it like over and stuff. So I'm sorry, I'm really unclear here, but um, yeah, so click, I want you to click install Cydia. If you want verbose mode, whatever, well, what that is is just like when you're booting up, it's like all this like cool. Things you just test it out, it's really cool. Custom boot logo, if you click on it, it'll ask you to browse for it. I'm not gonna do that. And the cool part is down here. So you have enable multitasking, definitely yes. Enable home screen wallpaper, yes, and enable battery percentage. If you don't want any things, don't have them checked off. But yeah. I'll do verbose mode just to have something over just to put something there. So now you're gonna have to put in a DFU mode. So basically you're going to have to turn your iPod off. So, yeah. So, I can power off. So, once it's off and plugged in, you're going to have to click next and then just follow the instructions. So, I'm holding it down, then I'm holding the power, I mean, the both of them down now until it says not to. So, just follow it and you'll be fine. So, now I'm letting go of the home button. I mean the power button, I'm just holding the home button. And now it'll start doing its thing. As you can see, it's performing its initial exploit, whatever that is. Screen's gone white. Now it's waiting for a reboot. All that good stuff. Now it's downloading the jailbreak data. As you can see on the computer, it says uploading RAM disk. So just wait until it says it doesn't need it anymore and you can click finish in this little program here Red Snow and this is for the 4.0 if I didn't make that clear so now it says done here it has a little spinny wheel and on the computer you can click finish you're done with the computer now now I'll show you here I'm trying to like get it right on the camera there my iMac <laughs> So it looks okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because 
The next video I'm going to be making is probably on how to jailbreak the iPhone 4, if that ever comes up. And also, I'm going to be making a video right after this on how to jailbreak or use Ponage Tool to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G, your 3GS, and your 3G. And Ponage Tool is pretty cool. And also has an unlock for it and all that good stuff. If you want to read up more on it, it's on the Dev Team blog. So, yeah, it's just still... Oh, now it's actually doing something that you might want to see. So it has a little pineapple here. It'll go like this for a little bit until that gets to there. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm really tired, actually. I've actually known about this for, like, since it came out. I was in having a... It's, pff, wow, I'm really bad at talking today. I just have not had enough time to um, make the video. But now I'm making videos, so now you guys know. Or maybe you already knew, but you didn't really know how to do it. There you go. So it's a pretty simple jailbreak. All you have to do is be on the 4.0 firmware, go on Red Snow, and then after that, you just have to open up Sadie to make sure it. Um, see, look, there's verb verbose mode. That's pretty sweet, eh? But if you've seen my videos before, you've seen verbose mode before. So yeah, it's verbose mode if you want to do that. It's pretty sweet. And I'm actually so happy that they enabled multitasking. That is sick. I mean, it doesn't work very well because some apps don't support multitasking. But the apps that do support multitasking, like Tap Tap Revenge 3, um, Angry Birds, I mean, you can run it all. And Cydia doesn't really support it. Like, if you're downloading something in Cydia, you can actually exit it out and come back to it. And it's like, you can, like, download things from Cydia and be doing other stuff. But just be careful on the iPod Touch 2G or the iPhone 3G just because they weren't really meant for multitasking so they can't hold that much stuff. But yeah, so my um, iPod just finished doing its thing as you can see right here. So yeah, I mean it's done. I still have Cydia. You'll have Cydia and obviously We'll have the little multitasking thing, which I cannot get to see any work right now. But trust me, it's there. And this is on 4.0. So there you go, you got the 4.0 jailbreak for iPod Touch 2G and the iPhone 3G. So this is not for the iPod Touch 3G, and this is not for the iPhone 3GS, and this is definitely not for the iPhone 4. So there's two devices that weren't supposed to have multitasking but do now so it's super awesome sweet and yeah so this has been Trev's iPod help I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helped you out please do not forget to subscribe because I'm just I just got to 400 and it hasn't been going really far since then I got like five but I really want to get to thousand I really want to become a partner I really want Trev's iPod help to get big and it really helped me me out if you guys subscribed or had friends that wanted to jailbreak without like you explaining it to them tell them just to go look at one of my videos because that'd be super sweet and yeah so rate comment subscribe and I will oh I'm trying to stop the recording here at a good time alright so see you in the next video <laughs> peace